the Almighty requires invites the reader to look at the surroundings of which he or she is a part, invites us to look inside and do introspection and look at the world around us and draw conclusions. To draw the conclusion, unavoidable conclusion that the world that we are a part of has control discipline. The Quran calls it Qudrat. It's the control, the might that is enabling things to happen in a systematic way. This extremely well-organized world, a controlled existence is enabling our existence to continue. So we are in need of numerous different things, elements without which we can't survive. We need air to breathe, we need water to drink, we need food to eat and all human needs that are demanded by us for us to be able to survive are there. Not just there in a way that we survive, well we flourish, we thrive. So there is providence as well. A third reality that we experience if we use our intellect, which the Quran urges us to do, is the reality of mercy. Mercy means you are getting things which you like, which you are enjoying, but you don't deserve it. It's something over and above justice. When we say that there is justice in a certain system, what it means is that you are getting what you deserve, what you ought to get. But when there is in a system mercy as well, it's over and above justice. You don't deserve it. Life is a blessing. I don't have to tell you, we all love it. As they say, we are loving it. Uh, but what did we do to get it? Nothing. So there is this phenomenon of getting blessings which we enjoy undeservedly called mercy. Finally, there is something else which the Quran points at, which is wisdom. You know, the world that we are living in, it's not that things are happening in a way that are absolutely simple. It seems that there is a, there is a plan going on. Complex planning has enabled this world, our life, to, to be the way it is. To just give you a simple example, we all have gone through the process of coming out of the wombs of our mothers and spending years of our early life in a way that we were completely dependent on others, causing lots and lots of trouble for uh, our parents and others who were looking after us. Had we not gotten their attention, we won't have been able to survive. But you know what? Hundreds and thousands of children who are born into this world, every day, before they come to this world, there is all, already an arrangement in waiting for them, in the form of the love and concern of the parents, mother in particular, father, etc. Somebody who looks at this world with his, her intellect, intelligently, has to continue to wonder as to why is there control? Why is there providence? Why is there mercy? Why is there wisdom in this world? If it, there is no explanation offered, then the person should be confused. Life is a puzzle. If there is no answer to this, these questions offered, the Quran tells us that there is only one answer, which is God. Quran says in chapter 24, Surah Nur, verse 25, Allah Nur Samawati Walaud. God is the light of the heavens and the earth. That is, belief in God is the light of the heavens and the earth. You believe in God and you are able to know that God, the mighty, is controlling. God, the provider, is providing. 
God the merciful is offering, spreading across his mercy and God the wise is enabling this wise world full of wisdom to operate wisely. That is what is a simple presentation of belief in God by the Quran but it is done in various different ways enabling human mind to look at uh, uh, this world and uh, God signs in a way that it, an unbiased investigation, probing and reflection would enable all humans to believe in God.